Welcome to Joey's Tech, my friend. I hope you are doing great. In this video, you will learn how to install PyCharm on Mac. To make sure that the installation happens smoothly in your Mac, I recommend you watch this video till the end. Also, if you are new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I release videos like these in the future. Before you begin installing PyCharm, you should first check which is the latest version of Python installed on your Mac. Let me tell you, if you don't know that Python comes pre-installed on Mac, but it is a relatively older version. So in case you want to install the latest version of Python, then you can check this video out, which I made on how to install Python on Mac. You can find the link to that video in the description box or here in the top right corner of this video only. So let me show you how to check the latest version of Python installed on your Mac. First, you should press command space to open the spotlight search. Then you should type terminal and click on the terminal appearing as the first item in this list. You can see I have a terminal window open. I will type python hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. This will show me the pre-installed version of python on my Mac. And now I will type python 3 hyphen hyphen version which will show me the version of python 3 this one i installed manually days ago so after you have checked the python versions in this way it's time to open a browser window i will open google chrome let me quickly open google.com and i'll type in the search bar download pycharm in the search results, you will have to click on the first link, but make sure you check that this link is from JetBrains, which is the company that has created PyCharm. Now you'll click on this link, which is going to take you to a page where PyCharm is readily available for download. Look here, it is directly showing a .tmg file for download. Make sure you choose to install the community edition because that's what is best for individual programmers and it's free for use too. I'll click on it now and you can see the download has started. It's going to take some time to download. You can see the download has ended, so it's time for the installation. You will have to click on this downloaded file. So let me click on it. And the installation has begun. All right, now it's time to drag this PyCharm icon into the applications folder. It is asking for my username and password, so let me enter it. There you go, I'm going to click on OK. And it is uh, copying PyCharm C to applications. I think that the installation has successfully completed. There are multiple ways to open PyCharm ID. You can either go in applications and run it from there. My favorite way is to use the spotlight search. So I'm going to hit command space again and type PyCharm in. As you can see, it is appearing as the first listing in this dropdown. So I'm going to click on it to open it. There you go, it's showing me a message. PyCharm C is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? So I'm going to click on open because I have downloaded it from a trusted source. And it has started. All right, you can see the first window of PyCharm on the screen. Before I begin creating the first project, here is one important thing to explore this plugins tab over here. Clicking on which is going to open a list of plugins. You can install any of them as per your needs. I just wanted to bring your attention to this feature, but I won't install any plugin for now. So let's go back to this projects tab. And I'm going to click on new project because I'm setting up my new project. This first dropdown contains the location of the project where your project will reside. You can change it accordingly as per your needs. I recommend you use the default one and I'm going to stick with the same. The next thing is this section of the new virtual environment. 
I recommend you create a virtual environment on your Mac using the virtual environment utility. There are other utilities available as well. I'll stick to creating my virtual environment using this utility. By creating a virtual environment, you can basically manage the settings and dependencies of a Python project. These will be independent and separate from the settings of your other projects. I am creating a new virtual environment indeed for the first time in my Mac. So I'm going to select this radio button of new environment. You can give any location you want. I am going to stick with the same one. In the location dropdown, you can give any location you want. From the second dropdown, you need to select the base interpreter. For me, it's the latest version of Python that I installed. So I will let it stay here. Coming over to the checkbox of inherit global site packages. If you check this one, then uh, all packages installed in global Python on your Mac will be added to this virtual environment that you are creating. I leave it unattended for now. The last checkbox is uh, make available to all projects. You can check it if you want to reuse this environment. If you create Python interpreters in PyCharm in the future, I leave it unchecked too. You can select this radio button that says previously configured interpreter to use an existing virtual environment for this project. Since I don't have any virtual environment created earlier on my Mac, hence I'll stick to selecting this radio button only of new environment. Finally, I'll uh, leave this checkbox checked because I want PyCharm to create a main.py file for my project. And at last, I'll click on the create button at the bottom right corner of this window. So as you can see, the project is being created. Okay, this is uh, the tip of the day dialog that has appeared. In PyCharm, I'll close it. And you can see that uh, the first Python project on PyCharm has been created. Under the main project folder in the project explorer, you can see this V and V folder. This is actually a short form of the virtual environment that got created using the utility virtual ENV, which we selected moments ago using that radio button that said new environment using after which we selected virtual ENV from the drop down. And beneath it uh, is the main.py file which got created because I kept the last checkbox checked. Here is the sample code that uh, PyCharm has provided in the main.py file. I'll do a slight modification before running it. I'll change the argument which I am passing to the print underscore high function to successfully deploy it. By charm on Mac and then I'll click on this play button to run the program. You can also run the program by clicking the play button appearing here. There you go in the console. It is showing the right message. This means that this Python program ran successfully, which also states that PyCharm is installed successfully on my Mac. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know if you face any issues while installing PyCharm on your Mac. I will help you in sorting them out. Like it, share it, tell people about this video. I'll see you in the next video and take very good care of yourself.